evening everyone and welcome back to Ladesia. So where are we? Like I said, we are in Ladesia. We are actually at the new house of Jessica Sango. I'm going to tell her, you guys more about her because I'm very excited. She's one of my very first viewer submitted sims. For a little while there she was living. She's on top of the hill. Let's see if we can back up. There we go. For a little while there, she was living down here next to the Bellatones uh, in the Arbor Arches area. Nice view of town we have from up here, too. You can see a whole bunch of the new buildings. Yep, they're sprouted over there. Over here's the Floral Bioengineering Lab. There's the clinic. Down there is the Golson's place. It's looking really nice, so I need to show you guys them pretty soon. Let's see. Oh, yep, there's the Oceanography Center. Over there is the new beachfront, which is where people can go to work out, the hub, the music joint. Yep, there's Inya Stocking. Still need to visit her, see what's up. So yeah, we're up in the little hills, the foothills. Not as high as the Eureka Estates and not as low as the main town and the Arbor Arches area. But Jessica Sango was submitted to me by Taylor of Taylor Sims, and that's because I put a call out there on my Tumblr for a Sim who could take over as the daycare position. And thus, Sango was sent to me. Or excuse me, Jessica. Her last name is Sango. But yeah, she's pretty cute. She is unlike any Sim I have ever had in game. I have never used these ears. These ears are totally a new thing for me. I'm thinking we're going to have some sort of alien background going on in here. She was a born in-game born sim from Taylor's uh, Build-A-City Challenge, the eldest of the mayor and the doctor, so it's going to be fun to see what goes on with her. Uh, just a little bit of background information, we'll have her play with her puppies. Doo -doo -doo. Why don't you praise for playfulness to others? That's a good thing, we want to see that trait. So let me read her bio real quick. Dun 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 dun! Alright, she has three younger siblings who are all triplets. They were born when she was a teenager, so she doted on all of them. Oh, are the puppies getting along? Hey now! No fighting! Put that right, honey. Jessica, scold him. Are you supposed to be at work? Oh, you need to leave for work. She's a pre-K programmer right now. That's a custom career that I downloaded from Mod The Sims 2. Uh, and she's a pre-k programmer because she wants to work with kids. She's a family sim. Uh, Taylor was kind enough to pick out the traits that she wanted for her too. She picked out the traits adventurous, animal lover, as in a dog person, bookworm, brooding, and family oriented. And Jessica has been a lot of fun. Yes, now we can command him to play nicely. Jessica has been a lot of fun. We'll have her walk to work. Oops. Oh man, hang on. Before you walk to work, we better put out a food bowl for the puppies. She literally just moved into this new house. So this episode, we're going to be decorating her house and getting to know Sango and her puppies. There's two of them. One of the things that Taylor told me about Jessica was that she obviously loves dogs and she had a dog she loved named Scout. Now I wasn't told what kind of dog Scout was, so that gave me a little bit of creative leeway. I like that bowl, it's so cute. Look at the little flowers. So I decided that obviously Scout needed to be a Corgi. Because look at those ears. And look at Jessica's ears. You see what I did there? And then I realized that Corgi is not a breed that comes with the game. So I actually designed this Corgi by myself. I apologize if it looks like a mutant squirrel instead of a Corgi. I was trying. But this one right here with the pink collar, this is Scout. And then this spotted one right here, and I actually looked it up and tried to copy it as much as I could. But there are corgis that look like this. They're very pretty. This is Sir Silverboy. And he is from uh, the Hepsenhide kennels. I made up the kennels. I made an old lady and stuck her in a house in Oak Grove and had her uh, have Sir Silverboy be one of her dogs. So Jessica is going to try to breed the corgis and we, we're going to start with Scout and Sir Silverboy. And of course they're going to be like lady and... No! I didn't want to quit. There we go. Fill the bowl Jessica then walk to work. Jessica works at... Do, do, do. Can we see it from here? <clears throat> through the trees, maybe. <sighs> Peeking through the trees. Down the hill. Tyke Tutoring Town. So that's the daycare that she works at. We'll try to pop over there and check it out in just a little bit. Are you guys still getting along? Good doggies. We want you to have the babies. 
so she can start her own kennel and have cute little corgi puppies. I hope they make cute babies. I wanted some variety, so that's why I got the two breeds. Hmm, I better put out a chew toy for them. There you go, greenie. Clean your teeth. But maybe they'll just make, like, mud-colored puppies. Anyway, back on task. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Her mother was the mayor of the uh, Build-A-City challenge that Taylor's doing. Her father's the doctor. Uh, yeah, like I said, she had triplet siblings, so that, that's, that might run in her genes. I might add that. I think I'm going to do something alien-based with her to explain the ears. Oh, and I really love this little detail. She's a terrible cook, so she orders takeout or she goes out for food most of the time. Where are you going, Scout? You're running so fast. Her favorite color is yellow, and she loves indie music. And I loved that too, so I gave her a yellow little cardigan when she got in my game. Anything else? Oh yeah, her middle name is Lorianne. She used to dye her hair green, but for some reason it just didn't show up uh, when I put her in my game. Oh, and also the house, the adorable cute house. This is the first house I've not built myself for Ladesia. And it is a house by Slidney Sims, and when I saw it, I was like, that's perfect. I've built most of the houses instead of uh, downloading them. Not because I like building, per se, but because there's a, s a specific style, kind of modern, scientific -y, if that's like a style, <laughs> that I was trying to keep in Lodessia. So this totally fits it. All I need is to grab a few ferns and plunk them down all over the, the house. But that's going to have to wait until, you know, Jessica has more money than $1,034. Trying to decorate a whole house with $1,048 will be hard. Oh, hey, look, it's Evander. And he's walking by with the new family cat. You guys haven't met the new family cat yet, but its name is... uh. Heidaglo, 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 how do I pronounce that? Hidago. I'm just going to take out that L and call her Hidago. I think it's Hidago. But she's actually um, Kenneth's new cat. Kenneth found her outside and just fell in love with her. She's kind of a derpy cat. <laughs> she's terrified of everyone, so she's like always running away. I'm amazed that she's out on a walk with him. But it's fun having some pets in people's houses again. I haven't really had any pets since uh, over in the Altair's house when they had the dogs that helped them out with the magic show and the dogs passed away. Now we're going to fast forward because we need Jessica to get back home. In fact, because I want her to get back home and bring home more money so we can start decorating. She's going to get home at 4. Ooh, look at the butterflies. I love the butterflies. Guys, Jessica already lived in this neighborhood. And none of you live here. You're all townies. Good boy, Sir Silverboy. Wait, you guys, like, seemed okay with that. Maybe he smells bad. Naturally, you always have been looking a little funny. I know, I know, but none of you guys are even from this town. Go away. Wait, Cat, who are you heart farting over? Sir Silverboy is like, get off of my property, you fiends. Why are you hungry, Scout? You have food out. I didn't want you to get taken away by animal control. Are you begging him for food? No, just for strokes. Sir Silverboy, share. Share the food. Share the food. Just like a dog, he's going to chomp all of it down so that she can't get to it. Share the food. Move. She's hungry. Get out of her way. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at his little corgi body all wiggling around. Barking at Shree. Shree, you're like ancient. You're like two days away from death. Shree Altair, she's the one who had the dogs. Uh, pretty cool dogs. Petey and Pilot, who perform magic tricks with them at the theater for their magic shows. You're going to die in like two days, Shree. Join your husband. Go home. Do you know how far away Oak Grove is from Lodestia? You traveled, like, what, forever? Go. Why are you wearing heels? I need to take those heels off. Your husband died after he got his hips broken from a bad fall and got an infection. Naughty woman. 
Ah, uh, yes, and then we have uh, Winston Coltman, who comes by to visit Sango at her old house, so he might be checking out her new house, see what's up. He's got a gorgeous head of hair that, whoops, I can only imagine he is extremely proud of. Look at those luscious locks he's sporting. <laughs> He even wears, I'm going to say he wears those special gloves, so when he handles his hair, it's with silk gloves. I know, I know that some people do that. Maybe he's a hair model. Oh, hey, it's Jessica. Someone gave her a ride home. To get promoted, baby girl? <gasps> you got promoted! She's now a teacher's aide. She's still going to be working. Technically, she's the only teacher over at Tyke Tutoring Town, so <laughs> I don't know who she's helping other than herself. But that's fantastic! Because now we have like a ton more money to actually decorate her house. And you know what? That I really wanted... Okay. Alright, Jessica. Let's start giving you stuff. What does she want? I saw a want. She wants a telescope costing at least $500. She is a knowledge family sim. Family sim. And then, tick, 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 tick. Where is it? There you are. Knowledge! By the way, I love the Eureka trait. Have you guys ever been playing sims? And the Eureka trait, for those of you who don't know, allows sims to instantly know things. They just are like, Eureka! A Eureka moment! And whatever skill they're studying, they learn immediately. And I love that thing. <laughs> She eureka her way all the way up almost to the top of the creativity thing, so. Rustic modern double bed. What says you, Jessica? I think I ha Ooh, that one's really cute, actually. No, not that one. This one. Now I need a yellow bedspread. We're gonna get some items in the house first. Uh, I know I normally don't do episodes where I, like, spend time decorating, so this is gonna be new. New and different. You guys get to see how how it all goes down when I decide that it's time to add something. Is that yellow? No. Is that yellow? No. I should have put my beddings in a proper downloads folder so I could purge them as needed. Yeah, you guys don't ever, ever, ever want to mimic my way of putting downloads away because I, I just shove them into my downloads folder. It's very bad. Now I have some crashing issues with my game, and I am not looking forward to doing a hundred and a half fifty-fifties. I did some fifty-fifties today to try to fix the walk to lot bug, but I didn't snag the little darn thing. I thought I did, and then I loaded the game again, and I hadn't. Come on, yellow. There's orange. Orange is not yellow. Ha, yellow. Ah, oh, that's cute. I like the bed. Look at that. Nice and modern and elegant. Yes, and we shall base her bedroom. Is that going to be her bedroom? Are we going to make it her bedroom? Yeah, it's going to be her bedroom. We're going to base the bedroom around those colors. Because right now... Doo -doo -doo. And let's change the walls. Alright. Huh? I don't know. Would yellow walls be too excessive? I don't think it would, actually. <laughs> it's kind of... It's kind of excessive. Ah, oh, there we go. That toned it down a little bit. Now if I get more wood and stuff in there, some plants. Everything is always better with plants. Never question the necessity for having plants. They provide oxygen. Someone did some research. I need to dig it up because it's a perfect thing to link for you guys. But if you like actually look up the benefits of having like a, an acre of forest or something like that, is that cute? Does that match? Mm, not really. Almost, but not quite. And the benefits of having a forest, like, tremendously, if you tried to mimic all of that, it would be super expensive. I think it's because that wood color is just not going to properly match with anything. And I think that's really cute. Is this really cute? No, not in the same way. Okay, whatever. We're going to ignore that it doesn't quite match. Maybe if we put something blue, it'll just tie the whole room together. Maybe a blue lamp? We need a lamp. Hmm. Maybe put a lamp on the dresser. A cool, modern looking lamp, no less. Ha <laughs> ha! Watch my decorating skills as they advance. What else should go in her bedroom? A mirror? I don't know, she doesn't strike me as the mirror in her bedroom kind of person. Maybe a small bookshelf. Oh, 
That's cute. Oh, look, dandelions. We're still having dandelions. Where are we going to put them? We'll put the dandelions by the vase. Yes. Yes. Because the dandelions, we're going to say that the dandelions were a gift from the kidlets. All right, I'm going to open up my uh, collections folder so I can get to my OMSPs, which let me place the dandelions like up over and next to the lamp. But it takes a second to load, so I'm going to pause the video. One second, guys. Okay, never mind, guys. My game made a fool of me. It loaded, like, instantly. It never does that. It, it was just teasing me. My game was just deciding to tease me. Make me look silly and noobish. I am not noobish. I have been playing since the original Sims. And yet I'm still learning things every day. It's because the community just keeps growing. I love it. Is this much? No, it's too high. What about this one? Hmm? Maybe three? Three? Three! No, is it too, still too high? Still a little too high. What about two? Ha! Two! Two is perfect. Two is even. Mm -hmm. Then you turn on the fancy magical little cheats. Do -do 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 Why do I always blink when I'm recording? Like I sit here and I go, I use this cheat so much that I never even think about typing it, which is why I probably haven't been bothered to put it in the startup folder that just keeps all the cheats on all the time. And then I record, and then I freeze, and I, I forget. It's bullprop, snap, objects, two grid faults. And that keeps you away from the grid. Gives you so much flexibility in design. All right, and then we're going to put, ah, I forgot the other one. Now this is one I definitely just need to hurry up and get. Bullprop allow 45 degree angle of rotation true. A million building cheats. Everyone thinks Sims is just about ordering people to go to the toilet and stuff like that, and it is totally not. It's about building and tearing your hair out and learning how to manage mod folders. <laughs> All right, still need a green plant, something with a little bit of vibrancy. Do do do, green plant. What kind of green plant should we put in here? Ooh, that's cute actually, and it keeps the modern flow going, doesn't it? I like it. Hmm. There, I like it more. <laughs> but she's gonna whine about having to like walk through. She won't be able to walk through that block to get to bed. There's a way around that. It is called the walk through block. Walk through block. Put that down. Put it on top. Did I put it on top? Nope, I missed. Okay, now I got it on. There we go. And voila. And now when she walks over here, she just will pretend like this doesn't exist. So sometimes she'll walk through it, but if you're not looking, there we go. Then it's fine. Maybe I'll change that later. That lamp is not as blue as I want it when it's dark, but she doesn't have a lot of money left. Let's move on. That's part of the fun for me is just letting the houses evolve as time goes on. Let's see, let's give her a fridge. You know, so she has somewhere to put food. I guess that's important. Maybe a priority for some people. There we go. Now what kind of fridge? These fridges are cute. Solid sense by romantic notions. Why do I have two of them? Why is one a cheat fridge or a custom fridge? Mmm. It's yellowish. Let's go with black. I like the black because it's all clean and too expensive right now. Okay, cheaper fridge. Let's go with white. There we go. <laughs> you know, not many of these fridges happen to have ice makers, huh? Like this one and this one. I love a fridge with an ice maker. As long as I ignore like that they never get cleaned and then you get really sick using them. I just pretend not to think about that. But when you have taken microbiology or doomed for life, especially with potato salad, because my microbiology professor loved telling you how you're going to catch a million diseases from potato salad that's been left out. And now I'm, I just don't, I can't eat food if it's been out for a little while. And my dad is, my dad's always so funny. He's like, it's not going to kill you. And I'm like, but it could, or worse, it could give you nasty little things. Yeah, if you guys ever want to be freaked out about food, 
or life in general. <laughs> so I'll just put that one down there. That one's really cute. Then look up some microbiology info, and yeah, then you'll you'll be ready to like be reduced to a very small eating repertoire. What about table? I don't know. The table like it's so basic, but something about it makes me think that she'd be okay with it. Even though she's from a rich family and she's never wanted for anything, so she's a little bit put out by how. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Do I want that? Yeah, but it doesn't match. She's gonna have to wait till she has more money. I don't want that one though. See what I mean? The decorating. This is something I normally do listening to other Let's Plays. Because, oh, it's so cute. But it's so not her. Because <laughs> then I don't have to put you guys through this. See, I will just pretend like somebody from the, the office or something gave that to her. And they're like, here, you use this for a while. And then when you can afford better stuff and, you know, redecorating your kitchen, you can do that because the kitchen does not match right now. And I'm just going to have to ignore that because we still don't have some things that the puppies need. She does not get paid very well as a teacher. She's almost up at the top of the career and she's still not being paid very well. So that's why I decided, you know what, let's get another corgi, a male to match with Scout. And then let's breed them. Now let's find a cute couch. She is a modern sort of person living in a modern sort of town. And it's a huge bedroom, like a huge room. Look at how huge this room is. I'm slightly intimidating to look at it and be like, I've got to fill all this up. Let's see. Couch. Big fluffy couch. That's pretty cool. Maybe not the best mashing in the world. Hmm. 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 That's thoughtful. Hmm. Maybe this could work. Look, and it even has a yellow pillow. I think this couch wins. If I can find, ha ha, that's what I wanted. Light yellow pillow. No, we're gonna go for vibrant pillow. Look how cute that couch is. That couch wins. All right. Couldn't get her. Oh, uh. We might have to get rid of the couch. You know why? Because we need a toilet and a bathtub. Because you can only bathe the doggies. We can afford we can afford a really crappy toilet. <laughs> okay, nice couch. We'll come back for you one day. Because we still have puppies that need bathed. Man, it's a good thing she got promoted today. Or else she'd be in even sadder condition. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, wow. I don't think I can bait the puppies in this one. That's the problem. Oh dear. Hmm. Hmm. I guess if we can just afford a sink, like we can, we can figure this out. If we can just, what? How much more do we need? Do we need three hundred? so that we can get the peasant tub? Would that work? Because, I don't know, would this one work? Can we bathe the dogs in this? No. It was made before pets. Sometimes you run across CC that, that is that old. Okay, we gotta sell something. Um, sell that. Sell this. Now we have enough for the peasant bathtub. Ooh, it's green. We'll just stick the green one in here. Oh, the shadows are messed up. That's okay. We we have to be selective because we don't have enough money for a lot of things. And it, it was also not updated. Drat. Hmm. What are we going to do, guys? We have to bathe the puppy somehow. And we're out of the monies. We are out of the monies. I don't want to have to sell a tree. Do I have to sell a tree? Oh, I have to sell a tree. Look how much money that tree is worth, though. It's almost... Ah, no! What am I doing? Grab the tree. There we go. See? Now we have enough money. Hopefully one of these. Please tell me you bathe puppies. Do you bathe puppies? She bathes puppies! Good. She? I guess I just gave a ginger to the bathtub. Alright, so now we can bathe the puppies. And do we have enough left over for a sink of some kind? Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. I didn't think I would have enough left over for a sink. What is this? Is that like a kitchen sink? I've never seen a kitchen sink like this. 
Except maybe like in what I would think, uh, oh, what do you call it? The really fancy, hmm, that looks more like it. Like this one looks like what you would see in a restaurant. That's what I was trying to say. We'll put it over here. And the poor house. Poor house. <laughs> You're not looking the best. <laughs> we have nothing. No bookshelves. No nothing. Do you have anything in your inventory we can sell, honey? Anything at all? Nope. She's got pizza in her pockets. Oh dear. Well, this is Jessica Sango. And this is a uh, <laughs> new house she just moved into. It needs lots of updating. Lots and lots of updating. I really wanted to go through... Alright, with her last pennies. We're going to do this with her last pennies. She loves yellow flowers. So we're going to make the roses yellow and hibiscus yellow. That was totally worth her last pennies. Because now we have almost all yellow flowers in the yard. Yay! Almost all yellow flowers. It makes me happy. Except those. We'll just pretend those roses and that other hibiscus aren't there. We're ignoring them. Poor Jessica. Alrighty. Alrighty, I guess we'll just have to <laughs> be cautious, but dang, we weren't even able to afford Grr, she's got to go to work tomorrow because we weren't even able to afford. Ah, no, she needs a mirror Okay, okay, don't panic We'll just sell more things. We'll sell the nefarious bushes that don't match Then we'll get her a mirror. We don't even have a sink in the bathroom, so we're just gonna put the mirror in her bedroom where there used to be a plant right there. There used to be a plant here. There's no plant anymore because we couldn't afford to keep the plant. We had to like go back to the store and look really embarrassed as we returned the plant because we were trying to find enough money to afford a bathtub. What kind of life is that? Poor woman. To have been raised in like the height of wealth and then now she can't even afford a good decent bathtub without selling all her foliage. That would be really embarrassing. Hmm. Why am I taking so long to pick a mirror? There. Done. Mirror. Cheap mirror. Alright, honeyman. Go study your charisma skills so that you can get promoted again tomorrow if we're really lucky. <laughs> And this is Jessica, and there's her puppies playing together, getting along. You know, we should try to get them. How old is Scout? Scout's, mm, Scout's coming along there. How much would it cost to get a really cheap puppy house so we can send them in there to make some puppies? You have to have a puppy house to make puppies. The world would be a much different place if that's how it actually worked. Cheapest one... Okay. I'm going to sell the pine tree. <laughs> this is so bad. I love plants. I don't want to sell the plants, but they're, they're going to have to just disappear for a little while. This It's like a ramshackle. Okay, this is the beginning of Jessica's awesome doggy kennel empire, breeding amazing corgis. It all starts right here in this plywood shack. Noble heritages will come from these humble beginnings. Dogs that will accompany royalty throughout the world. Join other long-eared people in their quest to have a long-eared companion. Now let's see, can we, can we, hmm, can I not do anything with it? Why not? Command, play, do they not have high enough? High enough relationship yet? They've been playing all day. No, they have really high relationship. Really high relationship. Does she not have a high enough relationship with her puppies? I'm gonna sell the house if you guys don't. Oh no, there's another dog. Lacey. Um. Hmm. Command. Play with Sir Silver Boy. Huh. Okay, hang on one second. Time for Google Foo. Do, 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 do. Seems to do. Breathing dogs. Yes, yes, they can have litters. That's what we want. We want to make this female dog. I did get the genders right, didn't I? Tell me. 
Yes, their silver boy is boy dog. Scout is boy dog! No girl dog? What? You're both girl dogs? Huh? How did I do that? <laughs> That's not going to work. Okay. Now we have two females. I guess we have to buy a new stud and and Sir Silver Boy. Oh, that's what you get for not paying attention in cast, guys. Well, um, due to basic biological incompatibilities, we will not be starting the Corgi Kennel Empire in this episode. I cannot take the girl dog and the girl dog and have lots of puppies. I, I need a new stud. I need to get a new stud corgi. Wow. I guess Jessica will just be like, oh man, that puppy grew up and it, it did not turn out to be the gender I expected. That happens a lot with my reptiles. My crusty geckos do that a lot, but, but you know, even I can tell a puppy, a boy or girl puppy from what it is at birth, unless I forget to click the right gender. Man, I'm so mad. Embarrassed, more like it. Here I am, Sir Silver Boy, the girl, making them friends, thinking I'm gonna have puppies from these two. And no, we have not advanced so far in our technology in the game that I can I can make that happen. <laughs> so, all right, that just opens up the opportunity to get a new stud and then see what it's like to have both colors in there. So, alrighty. On that note, of now we have Jessica's house tripped out with yellow flowers. I have stripped it bare of foliage. Poor, poor place. It needs more plants. It needs plants on the roof to pass the green roof initiative too. Beautiful house by Slidney Sims. Did I say that yet? I need to give her credit because she's got so much cool stuff. I'll put a link in my Tumblr or to the Tumblr that she has in my description for the video. All right. And now, well, man, I can't believe I did that. That, that, that is just two girl dogs. No wonder. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let Sanko study her charisma so that tomorrow she can get enough money for some basic household necessities and to hopefully buy another dog from the Hepson Heiner, Hyde, Hyde Lady. We, we might have to talk about a discount on the next dog because we were looking for a stud and she sold us a dog called Sir Silverboy and maybe Jessica just assumed that meant it was a girl but you know how crazy the kennel names can get and the breeding and everything so drat anyway you guys ready? the fact for today flamingos in fact, now I want to get a flamingo out. I, I never get the flamingos out. And I think Jessica is going to be awesome enough to have a flamingo in her yard. Because she's so cool like that. So let us find the flamingos. Then we can see who the mean sims are. Because mean sims in the neighborhood will walk by and kick the flamingo. I don't know if Leon would kick a flamingo. He has the mean sim personality. But here, flamingo. I have too much CC in the way. Where are you, Flamingo? Special things. Not only... and You guys know how Flamingos get their coloring, right? The classic pink Flamingos. I cannot remember exactly what species they are of the Flamingo species. But the classic pink Flamingo uh, gets its coloring from the shrimp it eats. And they live in really, really salty... Um, water when they they breed and they nest so salty like nothing can grow and if their babies fall out of the nest they build then they can just like get damaged and die in the salt water pretty intense okay i think i, I passed up the flamingo is it really more than 200 dollars? i thought the flamingo would be in statues i'm beginning to feel like the flamingo is not in statues let's try miscellaneous and also flamingos uh, they're pretty interesting because the fact for today, can we find a flamingo? Is that flamingos eat with their head tilted upside down. That's just the way that they filter their food. So, I mean, I guess a lot of animals can eat upside down. I'm pretty sure sloth eats upside down because they're upside down most of the time. But a flamingo eats with its head upside down and it gets its coloring from the shrimp. Not to be confused with also, I just can't find the flamingos. If you guys know where the flamingos are, would you let me know? I, I don't know where I have flamingos. Okay, so that's the fact for today. 
not a too exciting episode other than learning that Siri cannot breed animals because she doesn't pay attention to things like making sure they're both the right gender. And introducing our newest resident to Akinthop. Next time we'll have to take her down to Tyke Tutoring Town and have some fun over there because she is in charge of all the little toddlers in town and we've got quite a few who are almost ready to grow up into children so I guess that means we need to get some baby making going on with some of our sims. In fact, there's a surprise about that. You guys may see something pretty cool going on soon. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me in Ladesia as we look at what adventures our residents get up to. <laughs> and for joining me for Sims and storytelling wrapped with science. I put that in different orders all the time, don't I? It's pretty cool. Have a great night, guys. I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.